Hey guys, it's Lisa. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. As always, you guys are amazing. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. A um, couple things first before I do the subscription. Um, first thing, I, um, I've been asked to do some more men's subscription boxes. So you should be seeing some of those next month and the upcoming months. I am looking into some different ones and I've got some good suggestions from some of you guys and um, I have some that I have found. So you will be seeing some more um, men's subscription box and unisex, but I will still do my underwear and my makeup stuff sometimes. So there is still going to be makeup and uh, clothing and whatnot, but I will include men's, some more men's as well. And second, I got a quick story for you guys. So I will probably timestamp this so you guys don't have to like listen to the story if you don't want to. But, um, so Brian is a musician. That's pretty much all he does. And yesterday, um, during the week, sometimes he will play assisted, li uh, assisted living homes. And yesterday, last night, he came home from one of these shows and said there was a legit brawl to the point where the cops were called. It says that sometimes... <laughs> These older people will party harder than any of the bars he's played at. It's it's crazy, and I love it. I, I love hearing about these older people that are just feisty. Um, but he also, he, he says it's super rewarding. I have people with Alzheimer's that, um, or, that will kind of rem remember the music he plays. He says that he will have uh, people that are kind of locked in that are non-responsive. Once he starts playing, they'll start smiling and clapping. He said he had a woman that was in a wheelchair that stood up and told him that she had not stood up in like months. And it's just, he loves it. And I think it's great. I love hearing the stories about these people. Um, it's just, I, I hopefully when I get older, I'm going to be as fantastic as some of these people are. But um, yeah, you guys, we're going to break into what I have and I will shut up and... Um, We'll see what I've got going on. And I have a uh, cool subscription box for you guys. I have a spice subscription box. And we're talking about Spice Breeze. And it just comes in one of these little uh, envelopes. And I love Spice Breeze. I swear, every time I get this, as soon as I open the envelope, it just smells so good. And uh, Spice Breeze is a spice subscription box. You get it monthly. And you could choose uh, between two or four recipes, a quad or uh, the two. And... Um, it is freshly ground spice, spices and herbs, and you get recipes, and it's from like all over the world. So um, they always tend to feature a certain part of the world, and then you will get other recipes as well. If you get the quad, they will email you and say, hey, you can uh, choose your uh, spices or your recipes. So you could go on and you could ch choose two of the um, four recipes, and um, two you automatically get, and then two they'll give you like... I think nine or ten options, and you could choose two of them. And I always do that. It's always fun. <coughs> and I love learning about different uh, spices. I love learning about different uh, places. And what's really cool is that sometimes we get stuck in a rut. And we're like, <coughs> we do chili, and we do tacos, and we do curry, and um, we just we do the same thing. So it's something to change things around, something new, something to try. And I do love this subscription box. And um, it's not very expensive. It is, uh, I believe, for four, it's like $11.99 plus free shipping. And it's like $7 or something if you choose the two one. So it's it's a great deal. It's something fun to have. It's something fun you could do with your whole family and just learn about different, different cultures and different spices and different foods. And all the recipes, they send you the uh, spices, which is what's usually difficult to find and the other stuff you can get at the grocery store and it doesn't tend to be really long recipes so you don't have to spend a whole lot of money and you can usually find everything that's in here so we will open this up see what we got this time and this is what it comes in it always comes in this neat little um envelope and it says spice breeze culinary spice box and it just the smells that come off of this is just absolutely amazing and you get your recipe cards, and then this is what it looks like. You get your proportion spices that you just use, and it's everything I have cooked with them has been amazing and awesome and great. 
So it's it's always made me quite happy. So let's see what we got going on this month. This is the uh, card. This is the one that tells you about the featured uh, location. And ooh, they're killing me on this one. Okay, Les Anes de Arlette. Arlette. Martinique. And it says about, and that's what it looks like. It says about 400... 400,000 inhabitants habit, live on little more than 400 miles on Martinique, a French island in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. The, com the commune of Les Ines de Arlette, please forgive me, a lot of their stuff is hard to pronounce for me, uh, <clears throat> is still preserved from mass tourism. It offers authentic beaches with incomparable charm. From the Grand Anis Big Cove, with its large stretch of white sand to the Petit Anis, which is picturesque fishing boats. The heart of Anis Dernlet Borg is an 18th century Romanian Catholic church. Its doors open almost directly onto the ocean. And that's what it looks like. And that is quite pretty. So you learn about different locations, uh, get different ideas for your bucket list of where you might want to visit. And you get to try cuisine, which is just fantastic. So I've got the quad box. So I have four different recipes here. And I literally cannot tell you which ones I picked, which recipes I picked, because I cannot remember. So we're just going to break into this. These are what the um, recipes look like. You have the picture on the front, and it tells you a little bit about the recipe. And then it tells you all the ingredients. It gives you the um, variations. It gives you uh, how to prepare it, how to cook it. And it also gives you um, kind of what's in the spice kit. So this is Cuffet Tabrizi. Hopefully I said that right. Sorry, please forgive me if I am just saying this wrong. But it's Persian Culinary Spice Kit. And that's what it looks like. And it's kind of cool. You can kind of bend it and where you can just set it up like that. On the back it says... The city of Tabriz in northern Iran is the origin of these aromatic meatballs that are mixed with peas, rice, herbs, and Persian avi seasoning. The authentic balls are gigantic to allow a filling of egg, nuts, and dried fruits. Of course, their preparation takes a bit longer and is optional. For a weekday night, enjoy the meatballs in a smaller size without the filling. And I think I want to do the filling. So I would definitely do this like on a day off that I have or on the weekend. Uh, it says the shopping list serves three to five, 30 minute hands on. It's got uh, ground beef, cooked rice, yellow split peas, parsley, onions, tomato paste, egg, uh, non like flatbread, non salt oil. And for the filling, which is optional, egg, uh, chopped nuts and dried fruits. So it's pretty much anything you could pick up at your local grocery store, which is really, really cool. Um, let's see which spice that is. That is this one right here. And the next thing I have is Colombo de Poulet. It's Martican Culinary Spice Kit. And that's what it looks like. And it says, Colombo de Poulet is a popular dish in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. The key ingredient is the spice bin Colombo powder with brown mustard and white rice. You can find the seasonings at any market on the island. And let's see here. This has chicken legs, acorn squash. I love fall squash. That's like my favorite um, Acorn squash, butternut, pumpkin, uh, whenever uh, winter and fall comes around, I just, I go crazy on the squashes and they, they end up being good prices. And so I just made like, I used, I got a gigantic spaghetti squash the other day and we made spaghetti with it and I made like a, um, a salad bowl with it. And it's just, I'm a fall squash person, but back to what I was talking about. Chicken legs, acorn squash, sweet potato, cooked rice, chicken broth, onion, ginger, lemon, uh, salt, chili peppers, plantains, and cooked kidney beans. And that's the recipe. That's what that one looks like. And so this one is, looks like you have two different seasonings here. So there is that. The next one, let me see. Kuala Doxa. It's a Tanzania culinary spice kit. And that's the picture. 
And this says, <clears throat> excuse me, Kuala Doxa is a Tanzanian five spice blend. Our version adds exotic rosebuds. The most significant part of Kuala Doxa is a rare spice from West Africa, grains of paradise, also known as Malagunta or Guinea pepper. The seasoning staple is versatile and great on meat or vegetables for grilling or in a hearty soups or stews. So there's a picture again. And on the back it says it has ground meat, tomatoes, baby carrots, or pumpkin, garbanzo, couscous, onion, olive oil, and salt. So there's the recipe for that one. And it is, looks like maybe that one. And then we have Lama can. It's a Turkish culinary spice kit. And that's the picture for that. And it says Lama can, or translated meat on dough, is a pizza style dish in the Eastern Mediterranean region from Lebanon to Turkey. The dough has a thin, crispy, soft stone oven texture. At home, it's traditionally baked in a pan without oil. The meat topping is mixed with summer vegetables, which makes it refreshingly juicy. Lama can is eaten rolled up or without, without salad filling. And it has ground lamb or beef, onion, parsley, bell pepper, tortilla wraps, garlic, tomato paste, lemons for juice, olive oil, salt and pepper, and optional for fillings, lettuce, tomatoes, and plain yogurt. And there's a recipe for that. And this spice goes with this. And this other spice we have right here says, add a tabletop spice for light sauces or soups with fish, poultry, and or coconut milk or sprinkle over fresh fruits and salads. Mix ice cream or desserts with vanilla as a main flavor. And this is makrat lime which that is really cool. I got additional spice here. So yeah, you guys, I, I love this. It's, it's something different. It's, it's new to try. It's, it, it's easy. The, the recipes are never that difficult to do and it's just fun. It's fun to learn about what other cultures are eating, what, um, what other cultures are like. And it's, it's fun to do with your family, with your kids to just, um, something to shake up your, boring regular kind of week of chili and hot dogs and tacos and you know it's just it, it and if you run out of ideas boom you got you got all these new things with the special seasonings and the the recipe list so we have um i'm gonna have to say it all over again excuse me if i pronounce all this wrong but kuala doxa llama can uh, Kalamo de Poulet and Kuftef Tabrizi. So yeah, you guys, uh, link down below if you're interested. I do highly recommend this. We have fun with it. I enjoy it. Um, so if you guys are interested, link down below. And if you like my channel, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, rock on.